touches at physiotherapy on Friday and in this video I want to talk to you about why I think that this is a positive move and I feel that it shows a change in my mindset. Thank you for watching, I'm AJ, a brain injury warrior and post-concussion syndrome survivor um, after I had a fall in March 2018. Um, if you would like to follow my journey, which I'm so grateful for, then please do subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification and you'll get updated as soon as I post new videos. So to give you a little bit of background um, with my brain injury, I started off having bad um, balance issues straight away um, after my accident and then it was... Um, after a few months things got worse so I started tub um, stubbing my toes and then within a few weeks I was dragging my feet while I was walking. I can't remember when I got my fabulous purple walking stick but there were a few people around me suggesting that it would be a good idea to get one to help me walk. I was really stubborn and the only way I was going to use one was if it was all purple and sparkly so I went out and ordered one online. Um, now the reason that I did that at that point was because I didn't actually get specialist um, medical help until around about five to six months in after my accident although I'd been in hospital for a couple of nights. Um, Post-concussion syndrome was diagnosed um, five days after my accident and then um, I guess it was a, a case of let's just see. Um, I kept on having regular up, uh, appointments with my doctor but it was only when things got um, a lot worse for my walking at three months in that I then got a referral to the um, brain injury clinic. So I've been going to physiotherapy for maybe a couple of months now and when I was in there on Friday um, I was walking along the corridor uh, with a um, walking stick in one hand, JP um, here holding on to him for support because I'd had a um, difficult session um, dealing with noise sensitivity, noise sensitivity at occupation patient therapy on Thursday and um, I just couldn't sit in the, the um, waiting area and reception um, even with my headphones on the noise was just completely unbearable so I decided to walk along to some chairs outside the physiotherapy area and wait and it was a support worker that saw me walking along and um, once my physiotherapy came physiotherapist came along, I saw her and um, this lady joined us with some crutches and walking sticks and then my physio told me that she would be joining us for the session. Talk kind of um, went on to um, what we could be doing to help my walking further and then I saw these walking sticks, these uh, crutches and I realised that they were for me. I just thought, oh no, they're for me, this feels like a step going backwards because I've been using one walking stick and now crutches, well that's like using two walking aids and I just don't want to be doing that. It just felt like a, a step backwards. Um, so yeah, there were a, a few tears um, and then we kind of, um, as the session went on and I could see, um, once it was explained to me how they would actually help, I could see it, make, it would make sense. Um, so the idea with the crutches is to give me a better walking pattern or help my brain to create a better walking pattern and also to help create strength in my legs and also um, to give me more independence. Sorry guys, I will just need to check my notes here because, you know, memory issues. Um, but yeah, so it will give me more independence and what they wanted to really reassure me with is that um, to be using crutches, it's not a step backwards. I should never think of it as being a step backwards. It's a positive move and now that I've been using them um, for a few days now, um, I can see already um, the, the difference that it's making and hopefully as, as things go forward then it will um, be a really positive step. So um, I, I think 
with my change in mindset recently, I'm trying to very much focus on bettering my life as it is now. Instead of looking backwards and trying to get my old life back that I used to have, I want to focus more on improving the life that I have now and then it doesn't put as much pressure on myself because it's me that's doing that but it's all about just taking where I am now, accepting where I am now and moving forward and if you're interested I have done another video about accepting um, accepting the new me with the brain injury so give that a watch if you like. Oh I should show you them, here we go. Um, so yeah, um, I felt very much like a robot on ice skates, um, so the two options are to either um, use them with alternative legs, so this one would go forward with my right leg and vice versa, so just kind of like you're, you would do I suppose when you're skiing or hiking, that was one option and the other option was to just put both um, in front of me together um so they just said to me just do what feels naturally and you know they, they would help me from there so i went for the alternates um and i've spent the weekend getting used to them but i think what i would say is that very quickly it just felt like trying to um think about the sort of alternates um it just felt like too much and particularly when a lot of my issues um, with sensory overload really get in the way of me thinking straight then it just kind of there's there's been a few times where I was just like I don't even know like where my hands are going what I'm doing so I decided to just go for the two sticks in front of me at once another thing that I have to do is to use my crutches all of the time and um, at first I was like, hmm, not really too sure about that because with my walking stick I would use it whenever I left the flat. In the flat my physio wanted me to use it all the time but I was being stubborn and saying no this is my safe space, I don't really want to do that so there was a compromise where I said when things were really bad then I would use it. Um, but with the crutches I have to use them all the time and I think that's going to be a good thing because hopefully it will make me stronger. What I have noticed um, over the last few days is that the crutches have been really helpful for me when my fatigue has been bad because like I said earlier there's a lot of times where when things are bad I would have one walking, I'd have my walking stick in one hand and I'd be holding on to JP with the other. Sometimes in the evenings he would literally have to like pick me up or push me up off the sofa to, like, to get on my legs and then I would be like I don't even know how to put one foot in front of the other um, and I would be like clinging on him to get to bed um, but what these crutches allow me to do once I'm on my feet I have that stability. My walking stick just really wasn't serving me. Um, it helped to a, a certain point, but now having two, I just feel like this is a really, really good move for me. So in essence, it's not a step backwards. So if you, oh, let me drop this. If you are going through physiotherapy as well and you get given crutches, um, don't see it as a bad move, see it as a really positive thing. It's about giving you the strength and enabling you to support yourself, which gives you that independence. And like me, hopefully once my legs get stronger and I've got a better walking pattern, then I can move on to using my walking stick again with, with a better walking pattern, which is gonna be better. I keep saying that word, I need more words. <laughs> great <laughs> so the only thing um, that I want to do now um, is I love my walking stick because it was purple and sparkly so I absolutely want to do something with these I need to bling my crutches pimp my sticks whatever you want to call it um, I want to uh, make them look pretty so if you've got any suggestions for me um, on how I could bling up my crutches then <laughs> Pop them in the comments below and I'll chat to you soon.